what is good so this afternoon i received some lovely tweets talking about how i dropped 16 and how everyone picked up and dropped characters based on how good they are and blah 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 every character is good if you're good and they're viable and this that and the third you know the, the common shit that you read so today is a a good day better than any day to go over why i actually drop 16. all right this video is going to be pretty short and to the point uh as anyone knows or anyone who's followed me throughout the game's life knows that i played 16 from the beginning up until this point where i no longer play him and every single patch that's been out, the character has received pretty much nothing but nerfs. He got like buff and nerfs here and there on some of the patches, but overall he's been toned down. Some nerfs, right? Really so. Others, it's like, I don't know. Nice, nice way to take away the fun type stuff. But uh, they took it too far for me in this patch of the game. And so there's like... Three main things that I don't like. Uh, so the first one is his 5L. They made it better and worse. They made it better in the sense that it can now hit small characters. Even crouching. It'll always, always, always make contact. Uh, but in exchange for that, they made it minus to the point where it's unsafe on block. So in the previous patch, you would staggered the string to get your assist back so you would do 12 5 out and then the risk was this happening so you can go back but now if the opponent wants to mash it's just another point where the opponent can mash on you and that's not that fun personally people are already afraid of grapplers so they're more inclined to mash because of stuff like that so i'm not fond of that change uh, the other change is now his jump to H, you can't combo into it anymore. Uh, in exchange, they made it hit overhead and knock you down, but if you can't combo into it, and it doesn't even knock you down, like, standing, and it's so slow, there's actually, like, no way to not react to it. It's It takes forever. It's so bad. And the angle is also bad, too. It's, like, not that good. So what this did is it, it took away happy birthday options, right? So if the opponent, for example, let's see if I can get it, did this, and like I hit them, I could launch them both down into my assist and continue the happy birthday. But now you don't get anything. Now you just get nothing. You have to do something like this. and. You went from being able to kill the assist character to just not being able to do it. So, in a lot of scenarios where that option came up, I straight up don't have an option anymore. As far as I know, anyways. And that's frustrating. The last thing that they took away from him is the biggest thing, in my opinion. And they took it away, I'm not too sure why, and that's his meter build. So... If he does the command grab ender, you see how he built a chunk of meter. So just pay attention to the meter. So that's how much meter he used to build normally. But now, if you use your smash, if he does it, he doesn't build like any meter. He builds like a tiny bit. And stuff like this, I'm not fond of. I'm not fond of not being able to build meter when like Bardock, Piccolo, Kid Buu... All build meter just fine. GT Goku builds meter just fine. All his specials. But this character who was kind of designed to have these enders can't build meter. So in scenarios like this, say I have one assist and I hit them. Like I barely build a bar. And there are scenarios where I straight up will not build a bar. Like if I'm not in the corner, for example, let's just pretend I was in the corner, like I can't build a bar there. 
And so what ends up happening is there are a lot of scenarios where I myself can't super or I just can't build the bar to do a double or triple DHC. So my opponents get extra chances that I just straight up do not want them to have just because he's building way less meter than everyone else. Uh, to me that's frustrating and it took away a lot of the fun from the character. Now instead of having fun playing him, I find myself frustrated playing the character. So I'm not going to play a character that I think, like he's strong but I don't think he's strong enough for my personal, uh, like for me to pick him. That's what I wanted to say, yeah, for me to pick him. When there are other characters I can pick that do what he does better. I don't care if other players are winning with their shitty characters at their locals, alright? I want to have fun playing my characters and I want to believe in my character's strengths and I don't believe in 16 strength enough for me to play him right now. So yeah, that's why I don't play him for anyone that wanted to know. Pretty simple stuff, pretty simple stuff. Uh, yeah, there you go.